Hello everyone, it is FIFA Expert and today I'm going to be starting a very special series on the channel. I'm going to be calling this series the Premier League Rebuilding Gauntlet. And the goal of this series is to rebuild or take over all 20 teams in the Premier League and to see how well we do. The wheel gave us Brentford first, so let's head on to the squad hub and see what we're dealing with. My first big decision as Brentford manager was to change the formation Music to licensing a 3-5-2 formation. I wanted to change the formation to 3-5-2 because not only did I think it would be best for Brentford in my opinion, I also felt that it was a way for me to you know, test it out to see if 3 at the back formations are going to be useful for rebuilds. So in a way this Brentford rebuild is more of an experimental rebuild rather than a rebuild where we're going to be trying to win loads of trophies. So that's why in this rebuild I'm going to be playing it very safe. I'm not Art really going to be I setting own. any like special rules. I am going to be selling players to bigger clubs however but not that often. And when it comes to signings I'm not really going to set strict rules on myself. I am free to sign whoever I want as long as it's not too unrealistic. The first player we did decide to sign was Edin Ketia from Music Arsenal. We're able to play imagined. a very handsome fee of 4 million. It's not that bad, you know, it's very cheap. Also, giving him a few of uh, the cheaper wages, but you know, I feel like he's going to be a definitely a, a good addition to the squad. And transfer wise, you know, with us exporting players, I feel like Christian Eriksen might not be sticking around in this one. I think I should let him out for free after this season. Because next season there is a, a certain center attacking midfield that I want to sign. Artist a wonder kid who will definitely be growing past Eriksen's uh, overall very very quickly in the series. But of course Eriksen was not the only player being sold as you can see here. Other players got sold. And I also felt that our formation needed a good quality winger. That's why I decided to sign Gareth Bale for 18 million. And uh, give him wages of Music 88 million to join re-imagined. our London side. After all those signings, this is what the squad looks like. In my opinion, this squad should be good enough to survive relegation. And who knows, maybe we might even make it into a very, very good uh, mid-table finish. During the January transfer window, I did decide to sign Ibrahim Diallo from Southampton just to reinforce our CDM spot. And also to, you know, make sure that we have players that are going to be here for a long time. Artlist IO. We finished very far from the relegation zone this season and Liverpool ended up winning the league and stats wise Ivan Tony is our top scorer with Gareth Bale coming in second and I think he tied Christian Eriksen for most assists as well. While reacting to my own rebuild gameplay and editing it I do realize that Music a huge downfall for us in this uh, rebuild is definitely going to be depth and you'll see what I mean at the end of the rebuild. Moving into season 2, this is what the squad looks like. It's a very solid Brentford team. I feel like this season if I make like one or two good signings, I think we will be able to finish further up in the mid tables. We do start off our transfer business by signing Todd Cantwell from Norwich because I feel like Gareth Bale's overall is just dropping down too quickly for me so I feel like Artlist I should I get a younger player whose overall will grow while Gareth Bale's overall well, degrades if I could call it that. But we are able to sign the Norwich City defender for a handsome fee of about 14 million or at least that's what we agreed with with the Norwich representative. And when it came to signing him Music as a player we were able re-imagined. to give him some good wages. That wasn't our only type of business in the transfer window. I also decided to sign Fabio Carvalho by paying his release clause with Fulham. And I think our last bit of transfer business for the day was signing Samir Handanovic, a very good goalkeeper for rebuilds just because of his cheap, cheap price. And he'll also be very useful as a one-season goalkeeper, and it's a good way for us to save money while improving the squad. We do begin Season 3 with a bit of a mistake for me, but not only that, this season would prove to be our final season because of the depth problem. Uh, but I did decide to sign Ilan Melier here, but at the end of the season, we did get sacked because Todd Cantor did get injured and uh, we had no depth in the left winger position. Even Gareth Bale couldn't save us there. With that said, I feel like my main flaw was maybe not renegotiating enough contracts and maybe signing the wrong players during this uh, summer transfer window. 
but the squad was looking really good. I really thought that we would have been able to survive nice and easy in the Premier League, finish mid-table, or maybe even finish in the top 10. But uh, Lady Luck was not on our side during the simulations. So that's why I'm just glossing over all these signings because at this point, they don't even matter. They're just um, oblivious because we have been sacked. I mean, it was neat to sign Christian Pulisic, but I never got Artless to see him in a Brentford shirt because we got fired before the end of the season. We got fired in February, and my only guess could be because of uh, domestic objectives. But yeah, that is a sour way to start the Premier League gauntlet. I will spin the wheel though to see which team we are going to be rebuilding in the next episode of this Music uh, Premier League rebuild imagined. series and we are going to land on Arsenal. With that said, I am going to be ending the video here. A like and a subscription is highly appreciated but you're not being forced to do anything at all. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and with that said as well, I'll see you all next time. Have a good day.